What's up everybody? How's it going? Today I'm going to show you guys how I study Japanese. I get this question asked a lot. What are some ways, like how are you learning so fast? What methods do you have? So I spent two years in Russia serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And it was there that I discovered this method of a fast way to learn a language. And the most important thing is you need to carry a notebook with you. Because here's what happens. Sometimes you'll, you, you won't know how to say a word a lot and you'll ask somebody, hey, how do you say this? And then they'll tell you and you'll be like, okay, awesome. But what happens is you forget. So what I do every day when I go to practice or wherever I'm at, I carry around this little notebook with me. So this little notebook has you know, a bunch of, bunch of words and stuff that I write down every day. So there's multiple ways of doing this. When I hear something I don't know in Japanese, I'll write it down. When I hear a verb or a word, I'll write it down. Or when I don't know how to say something, I'll ask somebody and then I'll write it down. Or if there's like a sentence I want to say in, in Japanese, I keep wanting to say it, then I will, uh, I will write it down in English. For example, the other day we were eating at a place and I wanted to ask my teammates, besides meat, what is your favorite thing in this restaurant? And so I wrote that down in English and then I asked Avi, one of my teammates who's fluent in uh, English as well as Japanese, how would you say that in uh, Japanese? So he taught me how and I wrote it down in here and then I was able to know that sentence structure. Besides something, what is your favorite? So now I learned how to say that and now I can use that sentence structure and apply different words. Like besides basketball, what other sports are you good at? So now that besides, I know how to use and apply in other sentences as well. So this is, this is the secret ingredient is I carry this with me and when I, when I want to say something, I write it down. When I hear something, I write it down. I'm always learning every day. I think it's important. And then I have this little dictionary with me that helps me just pick up words. And then I'll ask my teammates if they're right, and if it's a good word to use. So these two things is key for me learning Japanese. And also, it's super important when you learn a new language to understand the structure of the language. For example, as you guys know, or if you if you speak Japanese, is in Jap Japanese the verbs always come at the end of sentences. So that's something you can pick up by listening to people and you can pick up by you know using books. So this is a book that's really helped me with verbs. It's helped me you know with the ending of verbs, kaki, ku, ke, ko, all that kind of stuff. It's taught me, you know, with first, first conjugation verbs as well as second. It's taught me how to, you know, conjugate verbs and use verbs and also just understanding the structure. So I think it's important on your own studying. You, you need to learn the sentence structure of the language. Like I said, in Japanese, the verb comes at the end of the sentence. So that's important. And then just understanding how verbs conjugate and you know the ending past tense future tense all that those different tenses is in su super important to know so that's something you know i studied on my own i figured out how to conjugate and i know how to do now now it's easier for me to pick up on words and to find a word and just know right away how how it conjugates and how to use it in different ways and sentences so that's something that's great and another important thing i do is after, after I have a day, like yesterday, these were a bunch of words I wrote down. I will take these words and then I will transfer it into this little notebook right here. And then I will put the date. So, 
So the other day I learned Agelu, which means to raise up. There's a lot of different meanings for it as well. But Mohitots Agete Kudasai. So that was something uh, my teammate Shinsuke taught me. He was riding the bike and I was trying to raise the level of the bike. And so he taught me how to say that in that, in that uh, sentence structure. So Sage Lu was something else. Uh, and there's a bunch of other different words I, I learned here. So I write them down here. And then I, at the end of the day when I get home, I write them here. And then I practice and study them here and try to memorize them and use them, you know, with my teammates and as I go about my day in Japan. So write them here, bring this with me everywhere I go. And then I put them in here and I study them at home. And then sometimes I'll, I'll pick out a few new words and then I'll try to apply them throughout my day. I'll pick like eight to 10 words and I'll try to use them purposefully, you know, with my teammates. So I think the most important thing is you have to learn and speak with native speakers and you just have to be, to be vulnerable. I think that's probably one of the biggest things I've learned is that you, you're going to sound like an idiot. You're going to make mistakes, but if you don't care, no one cares. Everybody appreciates the effort of you trying to learn another language. So just go out, have fun, bring, bring a little notebook with you. When you hear something, write it down. If you don't write it down, you'll forget. And that's the biggest advice I have. So I feel, I'm very excited to, to be in Japan and very excited to learn Japanese. I'm going to keep getting better and better and you know I'm just excited about this opportunity so that's how I study Japanese and these are some of my methods comment below let me know how you guys study English or whatever language you're learning and what things work for you but that's what works for me hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps have a great day make sure you subscribe and like and comment thank you guys see ya